Welcome or welcome back to Watch Advisor on YouTube. It's Alexander speaking, your host. And on your screen, you see the Longines Hydro Conquest and the blue, gray, black, and green variations of this collection are now complemented by two tone variations in steel and rose PVD or steel and yellow PVD for an additional touch of elegance. Subscribe and hit the bell to get our latest notifications. Fasten your seatbelt for something new. We offer you the chance to win a priceless experience. New subscribers with an activated notification can win a watch manufacturer trip to Switzerland. Together with our partner from Tobel, we give away 10 all-inclusive trips worth a total of 50,000 Swiss francs. More details on watchadvisor.com. Furthermore, register there to double your chances to win. See you soon in Switzerland. It was not easy to get all these four watches you see here on your screen. And before starting my little review, I want to say thank you very much to uh, the guys of Swatch Group here in Austria for helping me out. And what you are seeing is a collection that is traveling around here in Austria and is being presented to the retail. And they were so kind uh, to, uh, yeah, Give me those watches for the review and yeah, the retailers have to wait a while. Um, you are first uh, and I'm happy about that. Thanks again. Now really let's start. I will present you the watches. I will take away uh, some of them of the picture. There are too many in the picture. And um, guess what? Uh, let us start with the rose uh, PBD uh, version with the black dial and the steel bracelet. As I just said, I was only able to get those watches due to the help of Swatch Group here in Vienna. And so the watches you see are watches that are being shown to the trade and they, got, they have been going through many hands already. So I don't know if they were probably elsewhere before they came to Austria. So if you see some scratches, if you see some small parts looking, yeah, a little bit, I would say, being damaged whatsoever. This is of course not the way as you would get the watch when you buy it. So these are watches that have been or are shown to the trade. This is just to explain this in case you wanted to grab um, uh, yes, uh, your keyboard and write, Alexander, what are they delivering here? No, they are not delivering such a quality, of course, but I'm happy to have the watches and be able to show them to you. So let me start to present you this diver. This is a 41 millimeter case, 41 millimeter. And uh, we do have a case uh, thickness, a case thickness of uh, 12 millimeter. And what I always indicate to you is the so-called lug to lug distance in case you're not aware of what this is. So this is the distance measured from one end to the other end of the lug. And in this case, we do have 50 millimeter. The case is waterproof 300 meter. The watch features a unidirectional uh, turning basal. Uh, 120 clicks. I will make the basil sound just in a while before uh, until I have presented you the entire diver. As you might have seen already or recognized, the entire surface of this Hydro Conquest watch is brushed, including the clasp with its security featuring the uh, winged hourglass logo of Longin. Also the rose uh, PVD parts in the middle of uh, the bracelet are brushed. The only polished parts are, the f are not even the flanks, if you see, not even the flanks, they are also brushed, but the, yes, 
here I am. These are my eyes <laughs> coming to your screen. So these are the only polished parts. So it, it, the flanks of the links, but the rest is a matte surface. And this is highly welcome if you, if you would imagine that this watch would be polished, would be much too shiny, funky, whatsoever, not necessary with such a diver. So let me now turn the basil, as I said, counterclockwise only. Um, it's a diver, of course, and now please listen, 120 clicks. Sounding nice, absolutely. Yes. Nothing I want to complain about. Now let me bring it back to zero. We do always have the reflections on the ceramic inlay in the basil of my lights. My apologies for, you know, here. These are from the lights that are, yeah, we do have those. It's impossible because the angle is a different one uh, to the sapphire crystal. So we do have those reflections, but the inlay is a ceramic, as I said, black ceramic, of course, matching the color of the dial. The glass, the sapphire crystal has an anti-reflective treatment on both sides, inner and outer side. Um, and there is no see-through case spec on this diver, but a case spec that prominently features the winged hourglass logo of Longin and some information about, yeah, Hudo Conquest. We do have a reference number. We have an indication, all stainless steel, 300 meter waterproof, Swiss made, and so on. What you normally find on such a diver. Now, this is the folding clasp, yes. Now I will turn it around and um, now what comes on your screen? Um, is something you will like. There is, of course, a length adjustment available. There you go. Did you see it? This is what you have. You can expand if you want to use it. And this is when you close it. You click it in. Here you go. I will show this once again. Um, you just open it. There you go. And you expand. And here you are, and you see clearly that you have a length adjustment available. And from the other side, to show it, this is what you can take in and out of the clasp. There you go. So let me close it again, close it here, and you have a security click. That's it. Lots of links. The links are screwed in. You have screws here. So if you need to do, you have half links, full size links. Anyhow, these watches do feature the full length possibility of links. So they are huge. And this is also why they are heavy. Same, same applies uh, here for the version in blue with the yellow gold PBD. Um, the, the weight is 185 grams, but please, please, with all those links. And when you will see, when you will see the wrist shot, you will see that they are huge. I've been stopping the watch by unscrewing the crown. So when I start, it is already smiling at you. Here it is. Same watch, diameter 41, 12 millimeter thickness, lug to lug 50 millimeters. And compared to the version you just saw, you do have a brushed yellow gold PVD cultured inner links, but the rest is the same. And inside here, you can see I've been taking off those uh, little stickers from the version uh, with the rose uh, PVD coating. You have the number 12. They are belonging to a collection with number 12. You have the reference number. So there are watches that are being showing to the trade, as I just said. Okay, here again, fully brushed, 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 brushed. This combination is blue ceramic inlay and the basil. Yes, a blue um, dial matching perfectly the color of the ceramic inlay or vice versa. We do have a date window. I didn't mention this before. The date window. Date window, yes. Um, um, with, uh, yeah. This is something we now may, 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 uh, let's discuss it. What about um, my thoughts if I uh, would say uh, the watch would have looked nicer 
if the date disc would not be white but matching the color of the dial and we would have um, had it uh, the 28 with white uh, white printing on a blue exactly matching the color of the dial date disc are you okay is it something you would agree on or not um, looking forward reading your comments on this and discussing this um, this is the date window in white. They all have white date windows. Yes, it's easier um, if they do it uh, that way. If you're asking yourself, is the bracelet tapering or is it not? So I have to say, not really. We do have 21 in between the lugs and we do have uh, 20 at the uh, clasp. So from 20 to 21, that's what we have not more and it's by the way the same uh, if I take a rubber strap exactly the same here we do have a 21 and uh, we do have 20 here at the clasp so we do have the same exactly the same to be precise <laughs> What's next is the loom shot. You won't be disappointed, I can tell you already now. We do have Super Luminova applied on the hands, on the numbers, are the and dots, and in the triangle here. So have a look, please. Let me bring in the gray version. So we have the same here. We have a light gray dial and the ceramic inlay of the basil, the counterclock, only counterclock turning basil, is exactly matching the color. And what you see here, you have the PVD coating, PVD coating on the basil and on the crown with the winged hourglass logo on it. There is no see-through case button here. But you see the winged hourglass logo of Login. The main difference uh, is, of course, the uh, version where the gray, light gray version features a matching rubber strap, colorwise matching rubber strap with that surface you just discover on your screens. We do have a folding clasp with a double security push pieces. You open up. This is the folding clasp and yes, unfortunately, there is no diving watch length adjustment you just saw in the picture that features the metal bracelet. This is not available here and what you also see here, that's pretty interesting because you have all the elements still there because also here, same as with the bracelet, lots of potential adjustable length and what you do to when you get the watch here you cut through you cut away one of these elements then you will see that the spring bar is going through here and uh, if you cut away exactly in uh, one of these or several of these elements same here if I turn it around you do have these elements on the other side you can adjust the length exactly to the size of your wrist that's how the uh, the strap is adjusted and if you need to do some micro adjustments um, you can use three different positions here this is easy to do you just pull in here on the spring bar and then you move it a little bit diagonal until it clips in here then you do it on the other side until it clips here so you can do some adjustments here and as well with uh, 
two holes offered here. You can do some micro adjustments here, but you need some tooling. This is yeah, the little flaw. No possibility to do a adjustment without tooling on the version with the rubber strap. So um, questioning what is uh, underneath that um, case bottom that is powering all the watches, by the way, you see on the screen, it's the Longin 888.5 or ETA A31L11 caliber. That's an exclusive, exclusive movement that ETA is manufacturing for and delivering to Longin. So no other company of a Swatch Group is using this movement in this configuration. It features a silicon balance spring a power reserve of 72 hours and it is a three and a half hertz movement. This means that the balance wheel is oscillating with 25,200 semi oscillations per hour. Yep, 72 hours, not bad at all, I would say. And yes, the watch is not certified as a chronometer, but uh, this is absolutely no problem. Uh, why do I say this? Because anyhow, all the watches that uh, Longines is uh, selling are for sure more precise coming out of the factory of ETA, coming out of the factory of Longines. So after being assembled at Longines, the precision is for sure better than the requirements of a chronometer certification from minus four plus six seconds. I can guarantee you that these watches do perform better than this. Last but not least, the beautiful green version with a light green dial, a green ceramic inlay and the bezel and a more or less matching green rubber strap as shown before with the gray version. So it's everything's the same. You have here the green ceramic inlay, the green dial green golden hands matching the hand. That's something I didn't say before. So the, the color of the hands is always matching the PVD coating of the watches. So if you do have a yellow gold or yellow gold look like PVD coating, then the hands will match this, of course. A little bit difficult to show them. Um, now, here you have them. Forgive me the reflections on uh, the basil because yes, another angle, so the light is completely reflected. I can't change this, but here you see, this is the color and it's more or less matching the yellow gold coming or being applied on the crown and on the outside of the basil. So this is how they do it. And when we're talking about the blue version or the black version, rose gold, of course, it's the same. So the hands do match this. Um, rose or yellow gold PVD coating. Yep, yep, yep. Um, now, look, we can now again, I want to um, um, have a little bit of a discussion with you. Here, white date window. Do you like it? Uh, I'm not sure. We can say yes, because the dots are white. Um, the, yeah, super luminova in the hands is white. Uh, the, we do have, uh, yes, a white triangle, white numbers and indexes on, on, the, on the bezel. But I am not completely convinced. Me, Alexander, I am not. This is, this is why I'm trying to discuss this with you. Not completely this uh, convinced about the white date window. I'm not sure. Maybe the other way around, having a matching date window with a green disc matching the color of the dial and the white, white numbers on it would look better. I think so. At least I would prefer to have it the other way around. But okay, it's you going to tell me, please, if this is the case or not. But um, what I will do now, I always do this. I will quickly show you the rest of the numbers. We always see prominently being shown the 28. We can change this, of course, and you will see the rest of the numbers. Please watch. I'm quickly running you through. This is the 30th, 31st, and then you see the first. Of course, single numbers, single digit are bigger. Yeah, it's the same as always. I'm showing you this and then the central second hand is swiping over. 
then you see when it comes double digit, a little bit small, but still perfect readability, etc., etc., etc. So I will now position it to the 27th and then do what I always do. In this moment, I will pull out the crown and show you the date change. Um, the watch was set to 10 o'clock in the morning, as I always do in a, such a case. Uh, we're click, quickly continuing. You see there is a central second stop if I am pulling out the crown. Hacking second. Yes, 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 yes. No doubt about this. And now let me find a good angle without no reflections on that ceramic basil. And there you go. Look. Tuck. More or less. More or less. At midnight. Um, that's how it should be with a modern caliber these days. So more or less instantaneous jump at midnight. No, no, let me bring the watch back to a smiling position here. It smiles again at you. That's how it should be. And you see, um, screw down crown. And what is very, very, very particular, always when I have one of these Longines watches in my hands, I am always thrilled to tell you that story. That haptic is incredible. You have a huge crown, huge crown. Look, it's a huge crown and you touch it and it's stable. It's poor Swiss engineering, high quality. This is always a, um, let's say, if you are getting one of those watches in your hands when you have the chance to try a watch on your wrist, unscrew the crown and then pull it out, second position, second position, and then shake it, or try to shake it. And if there is uh, too much of a shaky movement here, um, <clears throat> this could, could be a quality issue, or um, a total, uh, an issue of the total quality of that watch. And I can tell you, since Longin can uh, manufacture for a ridiculous price, I have to really say a ridiculous price, all the watches you see or all the watches I've been showing to you do are sold for 1,680 euro, including Austrian uh, tax, and Austrian tax is 20%, 1,680 euro, including 20%. So if you want the net price, please deduct 16.666%. You get the net price. And if able, if Longin is able to sell such a watch with a silicon balance, uh, with a silicon um, um, hairspring, balance spring, um, with a movement that features 72 hours of power reserve, with a ceramic inlay in the basil, with all the details I've been showing you, a um, basil with 120 clicks, not 60, 120 clicks. And if a Longin is able to manufacture a watch and you pull out the crown and it is absolutely, then you get quality. This is what I want you to see. It's real quality. That's not a coincidence that is foreseen to be that way. And this is really a proof of excellent quality. So do this test and challenge some of the watches you maybe have your hands on. Are you interested in the Swiss watch industry? Check out Fontobel's latest Swiss watch industry outlook on fontobel.com slash watches. This is where we all started from in the beginning of that video. You see the new, the four new possibilities of buying the Hydro Conquest, the, the diver of Longines. What I did not give you yet is the weight of the version with the rubber strap. I told you that um, including all these extra long length, uh, all the extra long elements in the steel, uh, in the steel bracelet version, we had a weight of 185 grams and the uh, weight of the uh, version with the rubber strap is 128 grams. But also here, please, uh, 
uh, be aware of the fact, fact that um, yeah, lots of extra length is available because these are watches, as I told you in the very beginning, that are shown to the trade and of course they are in a way they have not been adjusted to the length of my wrist or something like that. So they are as they come when they are sold. So excellent divers, new variations um, in colors, dials and, and uh, uh, bracelet and straps. Uh, yup, nice choice, incredible, incredible attractive price. Wonderful quality, in my humble opinion, I must say, um, yeah, almost unbeatable. Imagine 1,680 euros, including 20% VAT for what you see here on your screens. It's just crazy. Uh, hard to beat. Um, yeah, poor competitors, poor competitors, I have to say. And uh, yeah, good for you, good for us. If you are interested in one of the Longines Hudo Conquest watches, go and check them out. And yeah. Now, thank you very much for watching this video and let me know what you think. Uh, share your thoughts. Do also share your thoughts once you have one of those watches in your hands. Um, let us all know what you think. And thanks for watching and stay tuned for much more as always coming here on Watch Advisor on YouTube. Bye. Hey, have you packed your luggage? If not, do so. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell you will get the chance to win your exclusive trip to Switzerland. <laughs>